Hey everybody, Adam Savage with a unboxing show and tell here. Uh, okay, uh, a few short months ago on Tested, I decided to spend one day making a foil, shiny foil ball. And I had a lot of fun, although I went a little bit overboard in the size. I used an unbroken 200 foot roll of industrial tin foil. Uh, and when I finished it, I was really happy with the product, even though it was huge. Uh, and then I attempted to cut it in half. And that's when I got really, really scared because, because of its many layers and also because aluminum as a material tends to be what a machinist would call grippy. Uh, the, tr the attempt to cut the foil ball in half, which is, you're probably looking at some footage of that right now, uh, has a great potential to yank my fingers into whatever blade I might be attempting this cut with. And it only took a few tries on a few different devices for me to give up entirely and finish the video calling a failure for being able to cut this thing in half. But I, I, I said hope springs eternal and I, I wanted to find a way to cut my foil ball in half. There were some fantastic suggestions in the comments, including many people who said, cut it in half using a water jet cutter. And the moment I saw that, I was like, that's exactly the right solution. And then luckily, the water jet channel reached out. Ha <laughs> ha! So we sent the water jet channel folks my foil ball and they sent me back this package. So hopefully they were successful. I'm assuming they were. We're gonna open it up and I'm, I'm gonna witness this thing for the first time. All right, here we go. I'm very excited. I'm, all right, if I have to hazard a guess, I should explain what I think I'm gonna see here. So 200 feet of tin foil, uh, and I'm not even sure I have any idea what the thickness of it was on the order of a micron or two. At any rate, 200 feet of tin foil compressed into a ball. It is going to have variegated areas of density. It's not going to be uniform in its density, although its highest density will be out on the perimeter. So I expect to see a half that shows me an outer sort of a shell that looks maybe even like an eggshell, not a, you know, it's like a, like a thick part out at the edge and then slowly getting more and more airy as it moves towards the center. That's what I think I'm gonna see here. All right, I'm gonna wait until that truck stops beeping. See, it's always gonna beep again if you... All right, here we go. <laughs> oh, they sent both halves. Oh, this is exciting. All right. Um, I'm not looking, I'm just going to put them face down. Here are... <laughs> wow. Yeah, hello, old friend. <laughs> it is good to see you. This started out as a single roll, 200 feet by one foot. Yeah, it'll be 200 square feet <laughs> of tin foil. Whoa! Okay, wow, uh, here we go. We, we have, we have liftoff. We have, all right. Okay, let's take a look at this. Let's bring the, let's bring the light in here and let's talk about this for a second. This is great. Um, yep, all right, so as I said, uh, the highest density is out here at the perimeter. And you can really, it's funny because it feels like, I scratch it with my fingernail, it feels like aluminum. I'm, obviously it would feel like aluminum, but it feels like, hold on. See, all day long I'm swimming in chunks of aluminum. So this sort of standard, this is 6061 aircraft aluminum. I use 7075 and some other alloys, but mostly this stuff. It has a very specific density. And when I scratch this, I can actually tell that, like I can feel that the density is lower. It's, it's aluminum, but it's not quite aluminum. It's got a lot of air in it. And I can see, as I said before I opened this, that the amount of air increases as it gets to the middle. Oh my gosh, I really wanna sand this and polish this. Wow. Um, so you can also see the orientation that it was set up in here. You can see the, the lines. And um, for the uninitiated, water cutting is, uh, it's not the water 
that does the cutting. The water is the medium for the cutting. Uh, the water is ejected out of a jet at an incredibly high pressure, thousands of pounds per square inch of pressure. But also within the water has been put a, 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 a some material, whether it's a, a, a fine, hard, uh, uh, something like uh, aluminum oxide or actually don't even know what the materials they put in, but it'd be like a tiny, tiny, tiny particulate that would be the equivalent of 10,000 grit is my understanding. And so that's what actually does the cutting. As it's coming, as that little, like the tiny powder of like diamond powder or, 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 or ruby powder or whatever the hell it is in there, uh, aluminum oxide is coming out being carried by the water. Each one of those little bits of powder takes a little bit of material with it and allows the water jet to do its incredible work. And you can see, here, the lines created by the water jet. So you can totally clearly see that this thing like was like this. Uh, like, let's see, where, where, where is it? Well, it's either, yeah, oh, oh, right, oh, no. So it's either, it's gotta be that way or that way. It's one of the two. Yep, there we go, that was it. So they put it in like this. You can see my old cut here and they cracked it in half. That. Just that sound from a mechanical engineering standpoint is astounding to me. I totally am going to make another aluminum ball. Uh, but right now, I'm so pleased. The Water Jet Channel, thank you guys so much for cutting this in half. I am going to. Um, I'm gonna make a little display and send one of these halves back to you uh, in thanks for that. That is so freaking cool. Yeah, I may end up at some point. Oh, wow, yeah, you can practically jam your finger into the middle. It's so aerated and yet out here at the edge, it feels so solid. Okay, <laughs> I think it's time to wrap this up. Thank you guys for joining me for this awesome show and tell. Thank you to the Water Jet channel for access to your super powerful and amazing tool. And thanks to Tinfoil for being one of the best materials that like four-year-old me ever discovered and I'm still having fun with it. All right, guys, Adam Savage out. Have a good one. The Water Jet guys asked me if there was anything specific I wanted to see cut in half. And indeed there was this portable television set from the 80s. This is a glass tube particle accelerator. That's what we used to watch media on, I'm not kidding. And it's really, really cool. If you wanna check it out, you go over to their channel. A link is in the description below.